हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ दीपिका प्रजापति फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर डिपार्टमेंट एंड वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू डियर ऑल स्टूडेंट इन टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज सो लेट स्टार्ट यूनिट नंबर थ्री नेटवर्क प्लानिंग एंड इंप्लीमेंटेशन डियर ऑल स्टूडेंट वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन अबाउट द कॉन्फ़िगरेशन बिटवीन क्लाइंट एंड सर्वर एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट अ विंडो सर्वर बुटेबल डिस्क बट नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एडिंग विंस रोल so we have already seen about a wins rule what is wins wins is nothing but uh, stands for a windows internet name service so let's start adding wins rules so what is add uh, wins rule and how to add uh, from our system to server so here the adding wins rules contain as a first of all launch a server manager from a windows 2012 server with a full gui so first of all whenever adding a wins rule from our computer to system then you have to first of all launch server manager from windows 2012 server with full gui it means graphical user interface then select the dashboard section and click the add roles and features link and then click next on the before you begin page leave the default section role based or feature based installation and then click next select the server from the server pool to add the dns role and click next click next to skip the role section then select the win server features checkbox click add features button and then click next click install on the confirmation page to install the wins features and then click close to exit the add roles and features wizard so this following steps about adding wins role from our computer to system so once again revise this all step for the adding wins role launch first of all server manager from the windows 2012 server with full gui then select the dashboard section and click the add roles and features link then click next on the before you begin page then leave the default section role based on feature based installation and then click press on the next button then select the server from the server pool to add the dns role and click next then click next to skip the role section selection then select the win server features from the checkbox and click add features button and then click press on the next button then click install on the confirmation page to install the wins features and click close to exit the add roles and feature wizard next adding file server roles so how to add file server role from our computer to system so first of all to install file server then go to dashboard on server manager and then click manage and then click rules and features so here dear all student you saw this type of pop up box on your desktop screen then you have to click press on manage button then click on add roles and features whenever you click on roles and add features then you have to show this type of pop up box on your windows screen so before you log in for the adding file server then here one is before you begin this type of add roles and features wizard then click on next button the second step for the adding file server role is now you will be prompt for installation type from which you must select the first option and then click on next button so here one is select installation type and then click on role based or feature based installation so here one is a radio button given there so you have to select first role based or feature based installation you can't access remote desk service here because this is for file so you have to select role based or feature based installation so second step for the adding files uh, you will be prompt for the installation type from which you must select the first option so first of first option is role based or feature based installation and then click on next button the third step choose the server you want to install file server from the server pool and here we have one server and select by default so here one is step for the select destination server for the add roles and feature wizard so here the left hand side given a server selection and right hand side given as our server pool so here you want to install file server from the server pool and here one is only one server and that is default server so you have to select that this is default server 
from the server pool and click on next button then next step number four find the file and storage device and then expand it and then files and iscsi services will open and again expand it to find the file server resource manager so whenever you click on server roles then you have to find from this all list uh, and the find file and storage services and then click on expand and the file services is also considered as iscsi services so you have to click file server resources manager and then click on next button next step as you select the file server resources manager a new window will be open that will ask the permission to add features and then click on add features to grant it the permission so here one is you have to select the file server resource manager a new window will be open that will ask permission to add features and then click on add features to grant it the permission okay so this type of pop-up box show for the given permission as add roles and features wizard so add features that are required for file server resource manager then you have to give this type of permission you can't install the file server resources manager unless the following role services and features are also installed it so here one file and storage services file and iscsi services file server remote server administration tools and file services tools and this all file server resource manager tools already added it means already installed it so here one you have to click on the checkbox include management tools if applicable and then click on add features button for the grant it permission okay next number six step says the list of features will be available for the selection and you can select any features if you want to install and then click on next or simply click on next without selecting any features so here one is you have to select the features and you have to give these types of features and then you can select any features if you want to install and then click on the next button so here one is uh, depends on you you can select any features as you want for the installation process and then click on next button otherwise simply click on next without selecting any feature okay so depends on you if you want to select any features then click on any features button and if you can't select any features then uh, you can also click on next without selecting any features okay then next step number seven says confirmation page will be open where you can give permission to the server and restart if required or you can click on install without giving permission to restart so you have to click whenever confirmation page and here one is install without uh, giving permission to restart so confirmation page will be open where you can give permission to the server to restart if it required or you can click on install without giving permission to restart okay so whenever you click on install your installation process will be start next now your installation will be begun it means your installation process will be start and show this type of pop-up box on your desktop screen so here one is features installation will be started here and uh, whenever this process is closed then you have to click close button next see that your installation is successfully completed and you can get this confirmation by clicking on the flag give on the upper right hand corner so whenever your installation process will be completed and it is successfully completed you can get this confirmation by clicking on the flag given on upper right hand corner so here one is whenever your feature installation is completed then you can show here this type of flag on the right hand side screen and then here one this flag is given on upper right hand corner okay so it means that our adding features roles file is completely successful installed okay next adding print server role so how to adding print server role the following this step for the adding print server role so in a server manager click on the manage button so first of all you have to open server manager and then 
in the server manager click on the manage button to open the add roles and features and to add the new features so whenever you want to add print service role then you have to follow these following steps first of all you have to open server manager then click on manage button to open the add roles and features and then you have to click this add roles and features then this type of pop-up box so on your desktop screen so now a new window will be open in which a new instruction are given and then click on next button so here one is before you begin this type of pop-up box show and click on the next button next now it will ask for the installation type from which you must select the first option and then click on next button so whenever the installation type you have to select same like process जी रीते अपने एड रोल फाइल्स ने एड कर सेम लाइक प्रोसेस फॉर दिस प्रिंट सर्वर सर्विसेस एडिंग सो यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट फर्स्ट ऑप्शन रोल बेस्ड और फीचर बेस्ड इंस्टॉलेशन एंड देन क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट बटन नेक्स्ट हियर वन नाउ यू मस्ट सिलेक्ट द सर्वर फ्रॉम द सर्वर पुल एंड सिंस आई हैव ओनली वन सर्वर इन दिस सर्वर पुल एंड माई सर्वर इज सिलेक्टेड बाय डिफॉल्ट सो हियर वन द सर्वर कैन बी सिलेक्टेड बाय डिफॉल्ट so you can't uh, select any server from this server pool because here one is a default selected by this server pool so you have to click only next button okay then next now a list of role will appear in front of you from this list you must select the print and document services so here one is this is the most amp step for the adding print services roles so whenever you select server roles then you have to select print and document service then next as you select the print and document services a new window will be open that will ask permissions to add features and click on add features to grant it the permission okay so this concept is a very commonly concept like our adding wins role files and this is the same concept for the adding print services files so whenever you select this type of features for the service roles then you have to click next button and you get this type of pop up box for the select print and document services a new window will be opened and that will ask permission to add features and then click on add features to grant it the permission okay next now a list of features will be available for selection you can select any features you want to install and then click on next or simply click on next without selecting any features same like as our adding role wins file so here one uh, depends on you you can select any feature you want to install otherwise you can't uh, otherwise you will not interested for the selecting any features then you click on next without selecting any features okay next now some information will be shown to you about this services here also you must click on the next button so whenever you select print and document services then you have to show this type of pop up box on your desktop screen so uh, select on the print and document services and click on the next button okay now select the role services page which will open in a sorry now select role services page which will be open and you lot you must select the first option ie print server and then click on next button now a confirmation page will be opened where you can give permission to the server to restart if required or you can click on install without giving permission to restart so now confirmation page will be open where you give permission to server to restart if required or you can click on next otherwise install button without giving permission to restart now your installation will be begin so here the result for the installation process feature installation for the document services so now if this process will be completed then it successfully installed okay so if you have provided this type of permission to restart then your server will be flush restart and then in the server manager you will see that your installation is successfully completed and then you get this confirmation by clicking on the flag and given on the upper right hand corner 
सो डियर आर स्टूडेंट आई होप यू ऑल इजिली अंडरस्टैंड फॉर द स्टेप अबाउट एडिंग विंस रोल्स फाइल सर्विसेज एंड एडिंग प्रिंट सर्वर फाइल सर्विसेज सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन अबाउट फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज एडिंग विंस रोल फाइल सर्विसेज एंड सेकेंड टॉपिक इज एडिंग प्रिंट सर्वर फाइल सर्विसेज ओके सो डियर आर स्टूडेंट दिस टू क्वेश्चन इज वेरी मोस्ट एम पी क्वेश्चन फॉर द जी टी यू एग्जाम एंड दिस ऑल क्वेश्चन अगेन इन अगेंस्ट आस्ट इन जी टी यू एग्जाम हैविंग थ्री मार्क्स आई दर फोर मार्क्स सो डियर आर स्टूडेंट यू हैव टू लर्न विथ कॉन्सेंट्रेटली एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज ओनली हियर वन इज अ थियोरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन बट वेन एवर अवर प्रैक्टिकल स्टेशन स्टार्ट देन आई विल परफॉर्म दिस ऑल प्रैक्टिकल एज प्रैक्टिकली परफॉर्म ओके सो आई होप यू ऑल इजिली अंडरस्टैंड ओके थैंक यू